Oh, wow. Just look at this, you guys. I can't believe the detail on this white-tailed deer. It really just looks like following a majestic buck walking through one of the many beautiful forests that Chips and I get to walk through in our area in North Carolina. So often you'll come across the white-tailed deer just in the middle of your path. They feel very comfortable even in the city that we live in here in like North, the central triangle part of North Carolina with just strolling through a lot of the protected parks and the greenways. So especially during the later part of the year, we often see a lot of bucks and a lot of does. And in the spring, sometimes if you're very, very lucky, you even get a chance to see some of the fawns. Look at this tiny little one. Oh, I have always been such a sucker for the adorable, adorable spots that we have on tiny little fawns, especially the white-tailed deer. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. But all right, guys, hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome back to the brand new Red Wolf National Park, or I should say the Redwood National Park. There we go. That's what I'm trying to call it, but I keep saying Red Wolf. Ah, uh, what can I say? I'm a little bit biased towards our amazing Red Wolves that I am so excited to have, thanks to the amazing mods that the community has created. Um, But my friends, I have to say, we have a couple problems today. So I hope you're ready to put on your ranger hats and lace up those boots because we have a little bit of work to do. You see, friends, it seems that there is a little bit of a problem with our new animals. As amazing as they are, uh, nobody actually donates any money to them. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because they're modded. So I think because they're modded animals, no one donates any cash when they see them. Which means we have our very first challenge here in the Red Wolf, Redwood National Park. Uh, and that challenge is making sure that we don't go completely bankrupt. Considering the fact that we pay our staff here exceptionally high uh, wages to make sure that they are happy, they're already fully trained. Like we hire just the best of the best to be able to come in and take good care of everybody that we have here here in the Redwood National Park, um, they're paid a lot of money. And I do not think that Chipmunk Tracker Storm, and Storm, thank you so much for being one of our patrons. It means the world to be able to have that kind of relief from worrying about like, oh my goodness, are we gonna be able to keep all of our adventures in the pixel biology community going? Or actually, to be honest, what the patrons really do is help me feel like I can eat every month without any concern, because like usually that's like the grocery bill. Uh, but anyway, thank you for feeding me, Storm. and uh, thank you very much for coming and joining us. I, I, I appreciate that you are a master level already, and I appreciate the fact that if I try to decrease your pay, I think you're going to get a little unhappy. Um, so yeah, I don't want to decrease their pay too much, but if we're not getting any donations from the modded animals, I mean, cough, cough, the newly discovered animals here in the Planet Zoo world, uh, then we're going to need to pivot a little bit, you guys, and add in some of the classics who are going to be able to bring all of that funding and all of those donations that we do rely on here in the Redwood National Park. So I'm thinking it's time to break out the bison, which I definitely want to add in because having a bunch of bison is one of my dreams. It seems that bison are like one of the things that you really get to see when you go to Yellowstone. I have seen bison in real life before because growing up in Missouri, occasionally you're just minding your own business and they'll suddenly be a bison that just is there. Like in in the middle of, of the countryside, people would have farms with bison on them. So I have seen them in person, but I've never seen them out in the wild before. So I'm very excited to see that, that beautiful, magnificent sight of just American bison out in what has been their natural habitat for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, just being part of the world. So I'm very thrilled about that and also very thrilled that our rental car will have car insurance, just saying. So I think today's project is going to be adding in bison and trying to have a, a whole bunch of bison just start roaming over here that people can start donating money towards. And I'm also hoping that we could get a really cool Jeep tour started that could just roam through fields and fields of bison and pronghorn that could just be frolicking all over the place. Uh, so to get that done, let's go ahead. And I think the bison will behave themselves surprisingly well with a bunch of wooden logs and chain link fence. So we'll get a bit of wooden logs, some chain... I don't really want to put like a lot of chain link, but I'm hoping what we can do is like have a little Jeep starting zone over here in the future. 
And then we can have the bison kind of over here and people can walk around. Yeah, we'll, here, we'll do this. We'll start a nice path. And let me get some curb on ground path. And then let's go ahead. We're gonna, we're gonna try to work ahead a little bit and predict what we might need. Oh, and meanwhile, our chipmunks have matured. We might want to take care of that before we have any chipmunk inbreeding. Yes, here we go. So I want to try this. Just like a nice loop. And inside the loop, we can either put like a picnic zone or a small pond. Uh, oh, we do have ducks. We do have modded ducks. So, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> we do have new species of ducks that have been discovered. I feel like discovered, discovered. <laughs> I feel like there needs to be some sort of cute pun if you're gonna be talking about ducks that needs to be like, we have discovered a new species of duck. All right. I don't think I need to make this nearly as big as I was initially thinking in order to provide plenty of room for the bison. So we'll start with a smaller sized exhibit. And then we'll kind of build our way up over time. Also, I'm, I probably need to have it not flat top because bison, there we go. And then over time, we'll replace these wooden fences because this is a brand new park after all. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit rough around the edges, but we'll replace these fences with things like gorges and canyons like we had in our last wolf park that unfortunately that save file got corrupt. I'm so sorry, guys. It happens sometimes, but that's why we're here. Sometimes the funding just dries up unexpectedly for, for our precious projects, and we must learn to pivot accordingly. Uh, let's go ahead and put this path right here. Yeah, why not? That looks good. And let's add in some bison. The sooner we get them in here, there's a healthy male we can go ahead and bring on in, 10 years old. Yeah, he's good. He's a rescue bison. I wonder if he just like wandered into a zone he wasn't supposed to. All right, listing has expired on that female, but we can go ahead and bring in this female. And then law, fertility is very low on that one. Customs has apparently seized this bison. Who is trying to illegally export a bison? I have a lot of questions about that. All right. So we've, we're gonna have a uh, habitat cleanliness is at risk. For, oh, this is for the deer. Yeah, the deer are probably pooping up a storm. So we're gonna have white tail deer uh white tail deer overlook or uh, trail we'll call this white tail deer trail i probably need to get more oh hey we need to name these little guys all right so oh we have two female finds oh all right well let's go ahead and we're actually going to put contraceptives on ritu our main male so that we don't have too many more babies just yet. How long do the white-tailed deer live? We're gonna need to look that up. But it's time to name the babies after some of you guys. Let me pull up the comments from our previous video. There we go. All right. And I'm going to use a random comment generator to randomly pull in your comments. And we will use those comments to name all of our new animals. So I would like you guys to meet Feisty. After Feisty Shepherd. Oh my gosh, Feisty Shepherd. That's the cutest name. It makes me want to do a Labarkatory episode with like a sheepdog. That sounds so freaking precious. So we're going to have little Feisty Shepherd here. And then let's go ahead. Is this female injured? Does she get in a fight with the male? Let me check. No, she's not injured. It's just her coloration. And then down here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have little Seneca. And Seneca, I love the idea of putting a small exhibit, like, oh, that's a good idea. <gasps> like a small exhibit over here, oh, or right over here. Small exhibits make so much money. That's a really good idea. Oh, Seneca, good call, good call. Congratulations on being one of our little white-tailed deer. Let's go ahead and while we're in here, I need to add in to the picnic plaza this work zone and then we'll actually that's a fantastic idea to put in those small exhibits they bring in a lot in donations as well and they have a lot of animals that we can actually uh end up selling the research information about cough cough or the animals themselves depending on how you want to role play that um so that's a fantastic fantastic thought and we could even put down like a cute little cabin over here and hide the little exhibits in there oh there's so many options all right so let's see uh, I need to move the donation bins if they're not going to be of use to our chipmunks. Let's haul the donation bins over here. 
Hello, friends! Hello! If you could, do please consider dropping some of your coins into these these spots. Uh, we also need to make sure that our poor bison have enough food and water. I think they're still in... Yeah, they should still be in the water purification zone. Let me double check. No, no, they are not. Oh, neither is that one, though. Okay, I'm going to need to add in some water purifying anyway. So let's actually make like a nice... Let's make a nice backdrop over here of like a little wetland. Oh, maybe I can even put the ducks in here. That would be really fun. The ducks and one of the species I am really fascinated to actually see when we do get a chance to go to Yellowstone. Fingers crossed I'll be able to find them because they're exceptionally rare in Yellowstone now is actually the trumpeter swan. They are the largest waterfowl species that we have in North America, which shocked me because I thought that the gigantic sandhill crane would be the largest species, but no, it's actually the trumpeter swan. All right, and then let's see if we can get like some habitat covers for these guys. What would be good? What would look good over here too? Not that, that's for Asia. Let's see, basic log, information shop. Okay, that's kind of cute. That is kind of cute. We might have to do something with that basic log. There's a big winter cabin. That's good for uh, a whole different section. Oh, a little, a little beehive. You guys, we should have a little garden over here by the picnic zone and have little information booths and like a little bee. Oh my gosh. I love this idea. Okay. There's a lot of, oh, bison mud pits. Oh, look at this. This is perfect for our bison. What? And it's mud pits they could go ahead and like relax in and play in. Oh, this looks so good. It reminds me of some of the geysers and things that you see for Yellowstone. Gosh, okay, I'm gonna, like, that's huge. I feel like I'm gonna need to rearrange what I was gonna do. Let's actually get rid of half of this water spot. And then let's smooth this out. Oh my gosh, now it's snowing? Oh geez, all right. All right, I love this. We're gonna be constantly working just to try to make this like better and better. All right, bison. Where's our mud pits? Aardvark territory. African animal home, animal walkover bridge. Bison mud pits. Oh, look how amazing those look. We could definitely use that as a decoration piece too because they look a lot like the little mud geysers that you can often find in Yellowstone. From what, the pi from what I've seen in pictures at least. All right, this has got me so excited. I would love to hear any stories from those of you who have actually traveled to Yellowstone. Uh, it would mean a lot just to know like what to be prepared for and how to make the most out of a journey to what is supposedly one of the world's just most amazing natural wonders. I've heard a lot about it. Oh, there's a lot of hay we could put down. I want these guys to feel like they kind of have a more naturalistic area. But I also need them to be able to have a little bit of shelter. New world shelter. Just basic shelter. Pirate- oh, the pirate houses make me miss Ice Ice Outpost. <gasps> Look at all these pumpkins! We could have a pumpkin farm somewhere! Oh, that would be so thematic! All right. I mean, that's really cute. Uh, let's see. Shelter sets. There's a lot to pick from here. Hmm. Arctic shop. Snow Leopard Climbing Hut. Oh, that looks so cool. Here, the Taiga Rock Shelter. I don't know if it's big enough for bison, but I like how it looks a little bit more naturalistic and we can kind of like cover it with some trees. Hmm, might get in the way of my Jeep tour, but maybe not. Let's try moving it over here. Can the bison utilize it? Let's find out. Animal welfare. Oh, it's been so long since I've done this. Habitat traversable area for the bison. Just barely, just, just barely. I think if I come in and maybe adjust it a little bit, take away some of those. Do I need to put it, oh, I needed to put it like lower down, okay. All right, we'll try again. A beautiful cave, <gasps> and I could have actually named like some of these caves after you guys too. Let's see, Taiga. Oh dear, that did not help me at all. Cave. All right, let's try cave. 
Here we go. Natural ivy cave. Oh, this is even better. I think that they'll be able to access this no problem. We can just put down a bunch of little ivy caves. What? And this guy's injured. All right. We need to go ahead and have our vet come. I need to summon the vet to us. All right. Let's call the vet. I think that bison came injured because they were a rescue. All right. Traversable area. Ah, uh, and again, oh no, the Easter chipmunks are already interbreeding. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> again, I, I feel like, okay, you know what? I feel like a cave is not going to work for bison. <laughs> I need to be honest. Caves and bison don't really overlap, do they? Bison are out and about in big zones. Let's see. Beds and shelters. And if they're going to have any shelter, it's probably going to need to be just something huge. Let's see. The Australian shelters, East Asian shelters. Let's put down some like large bedding for the bison. And maybe they don't need like a proper shelter shelter. We'll have to see. All right, let's see. How are they doing now? Zaria is or Zariel is injured, but the vet is now working on that. Uh, we need another zookeeper over here for sure to go ahead and take care of them. <gasps> and there's still no donations! Oh, you guys! Okay, I need to like check on that and see if there's like a setting that I'm just missing. One second. Okay, I think I found the setting that was messing things up. Are we gonna have our first donations? Yes! We have donations! Oh my gosh! So apparently what happens guys, if you are playing in sandbox mode, which we are because that is what is required for being able to frolic and play with all of the newly discovered animals, cough cough aka the modded animals, uh, then what you need to do when you go to your guest settings is make sure that increase guest stay is turned off. So you want to make sure that that setting is turned off and then guest will start donating, which means we might not go underwater after all. Oh my word, I am so relieved. I really thought that it was just like a, a bad setting because of having a bunch of our newly discovered cough cough aka modded animals. Oh, and look at how beautiful this area is. <laughs> Gosh! Oh, hey, it's me! There's me! I'm viewing the chipmunk garden! Yay! All right, I seem to be having a great time. Also, Ash, our red wolf, just matured! What the heck? Congratulations, Ash! I think we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to move Ash into the trade center for just a little bit because he is a gold star red wolf, which is fantastic for us. Uh, but we're going to say we're going to like do a little bit of time like studying him and kind of researching him carefully before we're ready to bring him back in for breeding and to leave his parents alone so that hopefully they'll be able to do some breeding. Uh, also, we have to see if my theory about the the modded animals not... Oh, we got donations from the chipmunks! Yes! Yes! I am so happy! Do we have donations from... We have donations! Oh, thank goodness! things have turned around i am so relieved i really thought that we were just gonna have to like work with some of the like og animals in order to make any progress which we still will want to do i think that that is a great idea uh to make sure that we have like bison roaming everywhere and everybody else super happy but gosh i was sweating bullets trying to figure out how to have this kind of huge sprawling establishment frolic and grow while only pulling in donations on a few of the animals i guess that's what it feels like to be a scientist after all constantly fretful constantly fearful that you just won't be able to make ends meet uh because the the grant money just won't be there oh that's so cool and now our bison are going ahead and they're making baby bison it is time to go ahead and uh invite these guys in excellent excellent let me just take a little quick screenshot of that very happy which means we should probably name our bison and make sure that they're having a good time. And I'm so excited because having oh, the guests donate means we are going to be focusing on guest education, which means we're going to be learning more about the bison and everybody else too. So let me pull up the random comment generator. And now we're going to go ahead and we are going to have... <gasps> She's pregnant! Our pregnant female bison is going to be named Tala. Tala, welcome, welcome. And then we also have, let's see. Oh, and we need to add in the bison prairie or bison fields. Hmm. Bison, bison, 
Valley. Yes, that's what I want to call this area as we continue expanding it. Um, but we're also going to have, let's come over to the other female. And this female is now going to be known as Lulu. Lulu, yes, I do plan on continuing Sahula Safari. I love going to our franchise zoos whenever there is a new challenge involved. Just right now, because I'm getting ready to go to Yellowstone, I'm really feeling super duper excited about just focusing on being able to frolic and have a good time with animals that you could find around Yellowstone. And then finally, we're gonna come over and we are going to rename this male to Dragon. And Dragon, good job recommending people take any of their sick pets to the vet. I am very proud of you for that. All right, so let's make this area look a little bit nicer. I'm so relieved, so relieved that we don't need to worry about bison or about like not having donations. We're gonna need to work really hard to make sure we have enough donations still. But this is a huge step in the right direction. Even if it does look like that step is going to be straight into a pile of poo. All right, so let's see. I think the next things we need to do before we leave today are we need to make sure that we have some water, like a nice little water treatment plant back here. We can have it Arctic themed. I think that's okay. I might sneak it back. Can I sneak it back here behind the deer again? Oh, people don't need to be back here. What are you people doing back here? Silly geese. So I think we could have like a little arctic spot sort of tucked back here to just get the water purified and we'll have a mechanic come visit it. And then we should go ahead and have a, another keeper station. I wish we weren't quite so heavy with the arctic theme, but come on. It, I'm sure that like cabin and woodsy themes are very common out there in Yellowstone. Uh, but we will try to like toss in something a little bit more in New Agey. Because we have a lot of like alpine and arctic looks in our other zoos. I am trying to vary it up, believe it or not. Oh, this one's cute! What? A little classic looking piece? Maybe that would be cute just as, as a little thing to be slightly different. And maybe have a little garden oh, for the little garden around it. Oh, but we're trying to put a jeep tour over here, aren't we? Oh, geez. All right. Well, let's think. Uh, keeper hut. Oh, that one's more for a uh, more for a ooh, medieval house with barn. Oh, that's precious. Oh, that's so cute. It has like a little barn in it. Oh my gosh. Yes, I want this back here so bad. Oh, it has a cute little garden. We could definitely say this is where some of our rangers live. What? All right, how do I get this in here? Where is the keeper part? Is there a keeper inside? There must be, hang on, we're gonna take a peek inside. Sneak, sneak. There is a keeper hut inside. Okay, that's too cute. We absolutely have to make that happen. And we can name it after one of you guys. It's like your grandma's house or something. All right, let's move these. And then we're going to actually pause just for a second, which we normally never do. But we're breaking open the bison fields so that we can add in something adorable. All right. Because I think these facilities... Little medieval house with barn. Yeah, I think these facilities we're going to need to put the fence down very carefully for. Let's see. And then I need to come in. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Look at how cute that garden is. I'm living for that. That is just absolutely precious. And we're going to name it after one of you guys. And it can be like your parents or grandparents' little ranger garden. Hmm. We're going to need to be very careful here. All right. Up, up, down a little. Just a touch. There we go. Oh, this is really cute stuff. Hmm. There we go. All right. And we'll just have to try to put down the fence and cross our fingers that we can cover up the rest that we messed up with with plants. And I think that'll work okay. And I don't think the bison will be able to, like, wiggle their way out of here if we build this just right. Oh, I'm so happy! I would love to see more cute little, like, house things like this get established. And then, yeah, the bison aren't going to sneak into the garden if we have any good luck with that. And the keepers will be literally, like, right next door. 
Good, good, good. And connect that. Then we can just come on over and... Oh, that's so precious! I am so happy! That is ridiculously cute! Oh my gosh, I love it! Alright, is our bison valley- bison valley is repaired. Resume! And now we can have just the cutest little path. Frolicking down. Let's see. Like I said, the cutest little path. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Frolicking down. Okay, we might need to remove this building for just a second. But I think we can do it. Oh, and we need to add power. Why is every why does everything always escalate? <laughs> it does. That's true. It always escalates, but that's okay. Alright, let's try this. Ah, too high. Down a little. If we can flatten all of this, okay. Let's get the hut back over here. And then just slide it right in. Oh, this is very adorable. I like it a lot. All right, hopefully that'll work out okay. So let's see what happens. Dang it! Obstructed again. All right, well, I'm gonna figure this out, you guys. This is this is one of those things that's just silly when we should be focusing on like hanging out with our bison and making sure that a keeper can come and clean up all of this poop. But we're gonna survive! We're gonna have to work really hard to make sure we survive enough and get enough donations. But I'm hopeful. I have hope that like we're not just gonna like die off at this point. And hopefully, oh, look at the chipmunks. <gasps> the chipmunks are money makers. What? All right, chipmunk garden might need to expand. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our slowly but surely starting Redwood National Park. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.